What's up, 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 Sun seeds, also be mindful. This can be past, present, or future. If this is not your energy, this can just be someone external. You know, just someone who very um, someone who's close to you. You know, take it how it resonates. Thank you guys for all your love and support to the channel. Thank you guys so very much, Sun seeds. To all my new subscribers, hey, hey, <laughs> welcome to the Soul Tribe. You guys are more than welcome over here, Sun seeds. I want to um, let's get some messages um. From your person or whoever's on your mind, whoever you was dealing with, let's get some messages from the higher self, okay? Holy Spirit, Holy Spirit, divine, my ancestors of the highest white light, my spirit guides, my holy angels, Archangel Michael, please protect me while I channel the energies for my collective sun seeds. Anything other than the highest white light, please close and shut that door, please and thank you. Holy Spirit. Holy Spirit, give me some messages for my collective subsidies. What does a person want them to know? What's the unspoken truth about this love connection? Please and thank you. Oh, okay. Cards falling on the floor already. So this person is saying they want to fight for this connection, but I just don't know how to seek the strength and courage to do so. Your person is saying, I'm so embarrassed. I acted foolish and don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. Okay, so what's good? All right, so I see. So this is someone, this is what they hire, this is what they hire self is saying. Okay. They want to fight for this connection, okay? But they just don't, this person feels weak at this time. Um, this person could be feeling like they sprung. Like what this person can't think straight. This person constantly thinking about you. This person feels like they sprung. I'm going to be honest with you. This person feels like they sprung on you. But these are feelings that they keep into themselves. They say, I'm so embarrassed. I acted foolish and I don't know how to tell you how sorry I am. Yeah, this is somebody that definitely needs to get the strength and courage up to do so. This person is saying, you are perfect in my eyes. Please don't change. Somebody is sprung. Excuse me, that was confirmation. Hmm. This person's higher self, they do want to fight for this connection, Sun Seeds. But this person, I'm feeling like somebody's scared of you. Somebody is not used to loving someone. I don't know if this is their first true love. Or this could just be a high-level soulmate, twin flame. Take it how it resonates. But this is an intense connection. Okay? Because to live with, because I heard sprung. So to live with these feelings and not have the strength and courage, you know, to come towards the person that... You have these feelings for mm, it's giving me real night type of energy, like teenager, like you know, page, like childish, you know, because king, emperor, empress, you know, you should be able to, you know, be more mature enough to, you know, come to that person and tell them how you feel. This person feels like you're perfect in the eyes. Give me more Holy Spirit from this person, how you so. This person is saying, I made so many bad mistakes. I hope we can have a do-over. Hurting you hurt me even more. So when this person hurt you, whatever this person did, it actually hurt this person more. I'm sure you went through the pain, you know, the emotions, you know, you felt some type of way. But it honestly, it hurt this person more to even do whatever they did to you. And this person is hoping that, you know, um, you know, um, the mistakes that they that they made, that they hope they can, like, I'm hearing, like, rewrite our love story. Yeah. The distance between us is killing me. I could feel the energy. 
somebody just wants something to get easy. I don't know if their days have been rough or how hard it's been. But somebody is literally going through it because the person that they love, they don't know how to they don't know how to speak up. Hurting you was not the plan. Nobody is like you. You are special. I am damaged and not deserving of your love. So this is why. This is why. This person is damaged, okay? Something could be real divinely, godly-like about you. Um, and this person is damaged. And study this person, um, you know, reciprocating your energy and, you know, doing right by you and, and being so happy and feeling so lucky, you know, and, and blessed by the divine to have someone like you. Um, this person that don't even feel worthy of somebody like you. They don't. This person is saying, I'm scared you will not accept me now. Yeah, this person is all in their head. They feel like you won't even accept their love, even if they came back. If I could turn back, if I could turn back time, I would do it all different. I bet they will. Yeah, this person is saying, I fear that you will never look at me the same. It's hard for me to look at myself in a mirror. Yeah, I feel this person's energy. I feel like it's rough, like they days are rough for them. You know? It's easy to, you know, just sit up here and bash the person, but, you know, um, that's not what we here to do tonight. It just, I, I know you son CJ, I probably like, well, Mystic, you know, they did this, they did that. But just imagine have to go through life knowing how much you love somebody so deeply. You feel like they're so special, they're so perfect in your eyes. You feel like you, and, and, and you just feel so undeserving of that person. So what you did was you turned around and you ruined the connection that was a blessing from the divine. And this person is feeling like they made so many mistakes that you won't even accept them back, hit them out. Or it, they they feel like um, it's impossible for them to even have a do-over. Yeah, but this person saying hurting you was never the plan. See, hurt people, hurt people, heal people, heal people. And you couldn't heal this person. Maybe you maybe you dealt with this person because you seen the potential in them. Maybe you tried to change this person and help this person. But it's something that is it, it, deep rooted in this person. Like it's something dry. Like, like this person could have put on a front to you, acted like, you know, they had it together or they knew what they wanted in a woman or a man. But it's something that is dry in this person. Like, how can I explain it? Like, it, it, it's, it's, it's not, this person is not alive inside. They're not alive. Mm. Give me more Holy Spirit from this person. Or oh, thank you, Spirit. Or oh, this person doesn't feel alive since you've been gone. It's like something feels dry in your life. They say, I believe we are meant to build an empire together, hand in hand. This is what they want to say to you. They believe we are meant to build an empire together hand in hand. Somebody, <laughs> I, um, I just heard talk to me, talk to me. Um, this person wants you to talk to them, communicate with them. I feel like if you reach out to this person, this person is definitely going to be open to communicate with you. But if you, if you, if you expecting this person to communicate with you, um, I'm going to put some more cards, but they saying they have to get the shrimp up too. It's like this person is waiting for you to reach out to them or contact them in some type of way. Cause you know, to make them feel safe, you know, because some of them feel whoever that's going to resonate, this person is scared of you or scared of what they have done to you. They feel like, um, you guys could be in that queen of swords, you know, king of swords type of energy. Um, where this person feels like, you know, you might either put them in a place, cut the cuss them out. I feel like this is somebody that, you know, you would have did anything for Sunseeds. They said, I never believed in love at first sight. And so I look deep into your beautiful eyes. So this person is someone who, who loves your eyes. You got very beautiful eyes. But this person is saying, I never believed in love at first sight until I look deep into your beautiful eyes. I'm hearing this person um, energetically say, with like, 
Like, what do you want from me? You know, what do you want from me? I'm here and teach me how to love. During this time apart, I have done a lot of self-reflecting and recognize now how deep our connection is. Um, whoever I'm picking up on, this is the first time this person ever felt um, a love like this. I don't care what age they are. I don't care how many relationships they've been in. I do not care. This person never experienced a connection like this. This person ran. This is what this is what they hide itself is saying. This is what this person can't, you know, is having a hard time telling you. Do you feel oh, they saying, do you feel when our energies merge as one? I feel crazy in love with you. Mm. Energetically, this person is trying to tag on your energy. Um, this person is trying to get you to feel them. This person is definitely trying to send you telepathic messages. It could be through music, um, signs, synchronicities, billboards. Yeah, this person is trying to get your attention in a 5D. Yeah, this is definitely a tense connection. Oh, this person is, is crazy in love with you, I just heard. make it up with that i just say thank you holy spirit i know what i'm feeling this person is saying can you can you hear me sending you telepathic messages i feel you listen i feel you listening to my innermost thoughts what did i just say sunset i knew it i could I, this this is uh, this person can't this person is having a hard time Okay, so when I say King of Swords, Queen of Swords, okay, but this could be a, somebody that's in that King of Swords energy. This is somebody that has a very hard time expressing their feelings, okay? Very hard time expressing their feelings. It's like this person wants you to read their mind. They want you to just, you know, they want you to read their mind. That's why they send you telepathic messages. That's why they're trying to, kind of, like, you know, um, send you messages in a 5D. Mmm. This person, um, this person feels like the messages that they're sending you um, telepathically, they say, they saying, you know how I feel already. You already know how I feel. Mm. I never met anyone like you in this. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This is everything I just said before the, before I, the cards even coming out. It's just repeating itself. I never met anyone like you. And this scared me. You left a permanent imprint on my heart. What did I say? I don't care how many relationships this person had. I don't care what age they are. Then they never experienced a connection like this. This person ran from something that was so beautiful. They did. This person feels unworthy of someone like you. Mm. They never met anyone like you. And it scared them. And instead of, you know, handling this connection head on, this person ran. This person ran. And that's why I heard earlier, dry. Like somebody feels dry. Like they, like this person, life, it, it, it just feels dry to them. It doesn't feel alive. Like somebody doesn't feel alive inside. It's because they missing you. Yeah, somebody felt like they made a horrible mistake. And they saying hurting you was never the plan. It was because that this connection scared them, and they was already damaged before they before they got with you. I'm hearing they was already damaged, and and for some of them they weren't damaged. It's just the fact that when they experienced this type of connection, it's it scared the heck out of them. This could definitely be someone that used to um definitely pick up on the king of swords. This could be somebody that you know likes to um. You know, have control over their feelings and their emotions, you know. And this was something that they didn't have control of. And if this person definitely, um, you know, when it came to expressing their feelings, they just, this person has a hard time doing that. They do. This person is saying, I know I hurt you and I wish I could go back in time to do things differently. I plan on making you a priority and showing you how, yeah. It's 
showing you how special you are to me. This person is planning on something. They plan it. This person is planning on um with this butterfly. This person is definitely going through some type of transformation. I feel like with the with, with this butterfly on top, with, with this transformation, once this person come out of this, whatever they're going through at this at this moment right now, <laughs> this person is this person is not ever gonna let you go. This is going to be somebody I'm seeing. This is forever. If you decide to take this person back, you know, whoever this is going to really going to resonate to. But this person is very aware of the hurt and the damage that they have caused you. Knowing that, just imagine just have to live with that every day. Knowing you hurt someone that would, that you feel like is so special. Um, that you know deep down inside that person did not deserve that. I'm, I'm, I feel the emotions. Like I can feel like I, like it makes me cry just to even like think about it because I know how this person feel, whoever energy I'm picking up on. That's a lot of guilt to walk the streets, walk it, walk, you know, walk, you know, day by day, you know, try to, you know, be out here, be functional and, 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 and knowing that you so empty inside, you're not even alive inside because it eats you up to know what you did to someone that did not deserve that. That got to suck. That got to suck. This person could cry by themselves. This person gets angry with themselves. This person gets frustrated um, very easily at others. It's because it's just, it's this connection. I want to be in a union just as bad as you do, but timing is the key and we need to be patient. So this person is saying they want to be in union with you just as bad as you do. Um, this person can feel um feel like you guys still want this union just as much as they do, but they saying timing is the key and we need to be patient. Um, something could definitely be happening in divine timing. And I feel like this person needs to, you know, this person needs to go through some type of healing or transformation. Give me more Holy Spirit. I can't make it up. I can't. What did I say, some seeds? They say I am transforming. I'm transforming, but I need to do this alone and find out who I really am. I want to be the best version of me for you. Thank you, Holy Spirit. This person is going through a transformation. And this is something that had nothing. This is something like, if you ever felt like it was you, you was the problem, this person made you feel like you weren't good enough. If this person was abusive to you in any type of way, you know, had you out here thinking that, you know, you, you know, looking at yourself like, what did I do wrong? Doubting yourself. Mm -mm. It was never you, Sunsees. It was all this person. This person was damaged and they need to heal. Okay. This is somebody who was just caught up. Um, and I heard physical attraction. Like, like, see, this person could be used to, you know, dealing with people in and out their life. Um, something about your physical attraction, this person finds you really, very, very beautiful. Okay, this person also could have tried to friend zone you, or this person could have, um, you know, just was, you know, I heard caught up in a physical attraction. So take that how it resonates. It was something about your physical that this person was very much attracted to. Um, so this is somebody that had no idea that they was going to fall in love like the way they did. They had no idea. This is somebody that just felt like they just had it in a bag. They can, they was going to be able to control it. Look, we are divine counterparts and I know we are twin flames that belong together. <laughs> this is somebody that knows that, um, you guys are divine counterparts. And this is somebody... I heard something about your physical attraction. Maybe this person's not used to um your type. This person uh, felt like they didn't deserve you. So what I'm picking up on, somebody left you and ghosted you before you could ghost them. Yeah. Somebody, somebody ghosted somebody because it was something about their physical beauty and it was something about um their soul. It was just it was just too perfect for them. It says you are perfect. Please don't change. 
Let me get what it says. Yeah. You are perfect in my eyes. Please don't change. It was, it was, you, you just was too perfect. Somebody didn't feel, um, they said it. Um, yeah, I don't, this person didn't feel like they was deserving of your love. Somebody ghosted you, but, but thinking that you would ghost them. This person was insecure. Look, I can't make it up. I never felt a, I never felt a, uh, excuse me. I never felt a connection this intense before. Honestly, it was love at first sight and the rest is history. What did I say, Sunseeds? They said, I never felt a connection this intense before. Honestly, it was love at first sight and the rest is history. I know what I'm feeling. I'm feeling your person heavily, strongly. They coming out. This person could have tried to look for you in other people and they realize there's nobody like you. This person is saying, I'm struggling financially and I know you deserve better than what I can offer. So for a lot of you guys, the reason, another reason why this person is scared to reach out because somebody don't want you to know how bad they're doing financially. Yeah, you change me. I see the light and I'm listening to my higher self. I will return back home to you. <laughs> I can't make it up. And I said, let's get some messages on the higher self. You change me. I see the light and I am listening to my higher self. I will return back home to you. See, the reason why this person feels like, thank you, Spirit. The reason why this person feels like it's hard for them to um, communicate and reach out to you right now at this moment. Because this person feels like you're going to feel like they full of themselves. Okay. They feel like they have to like transform. They have to come better than ever. To, you know, to, in order to even, even uh, have a, a a little chance at you. Somebody feels like, nah, I gotta have my stuff together. I gotta, I gotta have everything right. But with it, with, with counterparts and with a, and with a connection so intense, you don't have to come. You don't have to have everything together to be with your counterpart. No, that that that's that's not always the case. Of course, you want somebody to be doing well for themselves, Sunsteed. But when it's when it's love on a boy, love is the highest vibration. You know, um, you guys can make anything happen. You know, when love is involved, that just like for example, um, somebody saying, "Well, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna, um, I'm not gonna walk into my purpose until I have this, that. I, you know, I don't have this, or you know, I don't have a home, or I don't have a car." Um, I don't have no support or I don't have, you know, this, um, this, um, material, you know, thing to start, you know, start working on, you know, towards my, my life purpose to do what I'm, what I'm called here to do. That just not how the divine works. Divine don't want you when you got everything, when you got all it together. No, the divine likes to use you when you broke down and busted. I'm telling you, he likes to rebuild you. That's how he, that's how, that's how he works. You understand? He wants to he wants to use you so he can make non-believers believers after they see what he have done for you. He does not want you when you got it all together. And nah, he like, nah, you 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 think you know it all. You 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 figured it out already. I want to do I want to I, I really want to show out on your life. This is somebody that's just used to, you know, having, you know, and you know, and, and we all like, you know, I don't really know far as how, you know. I don't think it's that much of a, um, a big issue with women, but when it comes to a man, if a man don't feel like they got their stuff together financially, that definitely plays a major part um, in the man's self-esteem. It does, because they don't be feeling whole. Yeah, they say, I know we belong together. There is a higher purpose for our connection. It is. I'm hearing nothing is ever going to be perfect. Wow, this person is saying, I didn't have the best upbringing and my only vision of relationship was an unhealthy one. This person is, this person is used to birds. This person is used to chaos. This person is used to people using them. Um, this person is used to unhealthy relationships. Um, damn. 
They said I didn't have the best upbringing and my only vision of a relationship was an unhealthy one. This person could have watched their mother or their father or whoever raised them. Um, they could have watched the way how they dealt with relationships and then and it, this person never healed from that. And a part of them left them damaged. So when they got with someone that <laughs> a relationship just seen it, because they, they said in their eyes, you seem, you know, you are perfect in my eyes. Don't ever change. This right here scared this person because that was not the love language that they, they was brought up with. They didn't know that. So instead of precipitating that, what you gave them, they looked at you like, they was unworthy of that because they never had that. It was just like it's like a foreign language. Like they don't under they don't understand, you know, something working out. They don't understand something being good. They don't understand, um they don't understand how, you know, things can actually work with somebody and it could be successful. If it's not chaos, drama, people cheating on people, people using people, you know, it just no that that can't be a relationship. Mm. This person, I just heard, um, this person feels like if they do reach out to you, you won't reply. Will you find it? Will you find it in your heart to forgive me after all this time? I'm afraid you will not give me a second chance. I just heard um this person feels like if they do reach out, you won't even reply back. Again, they saying, Will you find it in your heart to forgive me after all this time? So um this person definitely left this connection unattended for a while. You know, and it could have gave you enough time to heal. And this person could be, you know, this person could be afraid that you, either you moved on or you just have healed so much to, to the point where, you know, you just like, you know, I'm deserving of, you know, something better. I'm not going to, um, I'm not going to wait on this, you know, this divine connection. Yeah, this person feels like you don't want to make it work anymore. I'm hearing Anything else, Holy Spirit? I feel like this person is working on, um, you know, closing out cycles and releasing energies. This person could find, this person could be definitely a hermit, spending a lot of time by themselves. This person is saying, you have my heart and make, you have my heart and it make me feel whole. You are my one and only true love. It probably didn't register to this, to this person at first because this person is used to unhealthy relationships, but this person definitely knows that you're their true love. I want to spend the rest of my life with you, grow old and gray with you. You, I'm sorry, grow old and gray with you, have a family with you, live our last days together as one. I pray for your forgiveness and hope you will return back to me. I want to show you I can be the person you can count on. Yeah, this was... this. This was way bigger than what you could even, like, probably... I'm sure you probably could understand a little bit now after this reading. Whoever this reading going to resonate to. But, um, this ain't had nothing to do with you. This was more like a, um... This was an inner thing. It, it had everything to do with this person's upbringing. Queen of Swords, correct? that Queen of Swords said Ace of Wands? So this person could feel like you're standing your ground. Um, you have moved on. You have released them and went to something. Um, I just heard better. Okay. But this is your divine counterpart, the emperor to the two of wands. This person is definitely planning something behind the scenes. Mm. I just heard nobody loved this person the way you did. Yeah, this person feels like... It, this person hoping and and, and 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 feels like you know there will be another chance with you guys. Like the picture that I'm seeing in my mind is very clear how this person feels and what they're planning on. Mm. This person is lonely. This person is lonely. I don't care if they're around a lot of people or whatever it is, but this energy is making me emotional, so I see it. I could imagine, I couldn't imagine just walking around with guilt every day, knowing that I did something to somebody that did not deserve that, all because 
I was going to what I was used to. That's a different type of pain. That's a different type of pain. Give me more Holy Spirit. I don't want to stay in this energy too long because your person is very emotional. This could be a grown man literally crying and nobody don't know how this person feels inside. This person is praying that you will hold on. This person knows that they gave up too easily. Um, I'm hearing you guys spend a lot of time together. Give me more. Queen of Pentacles. Four of Cups, Three of Swords. Yeah, this person definitely could have had you in a third party. This person is someone who had options and they rejected what you was given to them. Yeah, they Ten of Cups. They all in their head about it. Ten of Cups to the Moon card. Yeah, to the Empress, the Knight of Cups. I told you. It had to be in this night kind of energy. Mm, this person wants to come in and bring you an offer. But they, they have to mature and heal. The Ten of Cups to the Moon card. This person is constantly in their head. Imagine about this love. Somebody knows that the, this type of love would take a long time, you know, for, to come around in certain people's life. And this person like, damn, I got it. But, you know, this Knight of Cups. Knight of Cups. Apology and offer. I feel like this person is very charming. You know, say the right thing. But you're not dealing with this. Like, uh, I just feel like you're too grounded. You're in, a, you're in a, a beautiful place in your life right now where you have healed and you're pouring into yourself. The Seven of Cups to the Three of Swords to the Three of Pentacles to the Four of Cups. Somebody definitely made tried to make an Empress an option. And it was all because that's what they was used to. Unhealthy relationships. Empress, you scared the heck out of this person. And all you was doing was being your true self. The Six of Cups. Yeah, this person constantly reminisces about this connection, how things were, how they did things in the past. They do. And they want to apologize. Eight of Wands, they want to communicate. They want to communicate, hoping that they can have a victory with you. After a third party situ um a third party situation, an interference, eight of swords, it constantly leaves this person in their head. Yeah, five of swords to the hermit. What did I say? This person is a hermit. Feeling real defeated. Feeling like they missed out. Yeah, on a two of cups, four of wands, nine of swords. Yeah, this person feel guilty. Whoever this person is that you was dealing with, they feel guilty about this relationship. Yeah, Queen of Cups, you was nothing but nurturing and caring and loving to this person. The lovers. It had, it had everything to do about what the choices and decisions that this person made. And it beats them up. We have the Page of Pentacles with the Magician. This person is trying to manifest. Manifest something new. And I feel like that's all, you know, them working on themselves. This is Magician, Holy Spirit. This person is definitely, could be looking for work, you know, trying to manifest something that they're working on, okay? To bring them in some type of wealth, yeah, two of pentacles. Yeah, they're working on something. They're working on manifesting some type of um, finances. They could have been working on this for a while. For things to come in for them. What's the magician, Holy Spirit? I'm sorry, what's the um the moon card? 
Yeah, the moon card is clarified with the high priestess. Yeah. The, the high priestess to the moon card, this person hit their feelings, their true feelings for you. Yeah, four of pentacles. They held back. And that's what eats at this person. Give me a card on the um, six of cups, Holy Spirit. Ooh, that person, damn the Amy about to. Ooh, I feel boo hooing. Yeah, the Six of Cups is clarified with the Hermit. I told you, this person is in Hermit mode, self-reflecting, self Eight of Wands. Should I communicate? Should I reach out? Is they going to reply back? The Wheel of Fortune, something is changing quickly. Yeah, King of Wands to the Ten of Wands. Something is changing quickly. Give me a card on the Will of Fortune. Something is heavy on this person. It's, it's real heavy on this person. What's the Will of Fortune? This person made you feel like you weren't enough. But I'm spirit is saying you was more than enough. Yeah, the Will of Fortune is clarified with the high friend. God is working on this person. Oh, this person is about to trend. This, this person ain't got no choice but to go through this transformation. They ain't got no, no choice but to go with it. Yeah. And once they do... This person is going to heal. Once they heal, they can take this leap of faith. And they can be in this energy of bring you this commitment. This person, this person is this person chooses you. I'm hearing you unforgettable. This person can avoid this change if they wanted to. Spirit is definitely cracking down. Can I have a card on the Ten of Wands, Holy Spirit? Thank you. Yeah, Queen of Cups. It's heavy on this person how they treated you. This loving, caring, nurturing person. And spirit is like, this empress did not deserve that. They did not deserve that. It's time, whoever this person is, they be in court to make it right. They be in court to make it right. Mm-hmm. Things are changing. Yeah, Knight of Swords. And it's, it's changing quick. I heard somebody got a hard head. Yeah. The death card. I'm telling you, so this is about this death and rebirth is about to happen quick for this person. They have no choice. Spirit is like, uh uh. It's time for you to take action. It's time for you to get it together. You can't be out here hurting innocent people because of your upbringing. Heal yourself. Not saying that um, it doesn't matter what you went through. Yes, that matters. And it's unfortunate that this person had to, you know, experience that type of upbringing. But heal yourself. You can't go around hurting innocent people. They're not the ones who did it to you. <coughs> Excuse me. And even the ones who did it to you, you can't go and hurt them. You got to leave that up to God. God will handle that. Ace of Cups. Yeah. Somebody is chosen. Somebody is emotional. They in their feelings. A lot of regret. Yeah. A lot of regret. Crying. And the emotions and the feelings. Because the cycle needs to be closed out. This person. Somebody made you feel like you weren't enough for them. Like you was too much for them. Spirit was like, no, you were, you were just where I wanted you to be. Just where I wanted you to be. Yeah, and Knight of um, Pentacles, Seven of Swords, the Justice. This person definitely could be experiencing some type of karma because skills got to be balanced out. And Spirit could have ripped this person of everything that they value and put. Whatever they put before you, Sunseeds, I don't care if it was a third party, whether it was money, worldly things, whatever. Whatever they put before you, Spirit ripped that so they could go within. Mm. I'm here and Spirit had to get this person alone. Can I have a card on the deck? <coughs> Spirit had to get this person alone. That's too many. Give me a card on the deck, Holy Spirit. <coughs> Excuse me. The death, please, and thank you, Holy Spirit. Three of Cups. 
once this person go through this death and rebirth, this, there's a reconciliation here. Can I have a card on a hermit? Holy Spirit. Please and thank you. The hermit is clarified with the Ace of Cups. Mm hmm There's a love. This person is coming to bring you this love offer. Yeah. Spirit, like, I'm not playing with this person. You better get it together. Get it together. <laughs> Spirit, like, I'm not playing with this person. You better get it together. Look what pop out. Emperor. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit ain't playing with this person. This was somebody that was just like, they just thought they could be tied down. Yeah, this is going to, mm, um, yeah. The sun card, the lovers, the seven of pentacles. Um, I see you guys being together for years. You guys could have been together for years. Um, some of you guys could be up to seven or ten years, but this is something, um, seven months, seven weeks for some of you guys to take out resonate, but this is going to be long term. These are two people who's choosing, who, who choosing, um, each other. Yeah. Nine of swords. This person is going through it while they in hermit because, um, you know, they're working on themselves. And whatever, all that guilt, everything they have done to you or what they have done to, you know, plenty of people, but mostly to a divine being is you. It, 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 it has had this person stressed out. Somebody feel bad for what they did to you. Yeah, Ten of Pentacles, Four of Swords. Spirit is saying once this person heal, this is what you guys going to have together. Y'all going to live a Ten of Pentacles lifestyle. Ten of Pentacles life, happy life, marriage, um, kids, grandkids, foster kids, dogs, um, whatever resonates to your story. The white fence, the beautiful home. You guys going to create and work together. Co-create. Yeah. I see you standing your ground. You're very beautiful, very confident. This is somebody that's holding on to you. Um... I see you as being self-sufficient, independent, king of cup. Yeah, this person, yeah, six of swords. Uh-huh. This person is coming towards you, sun seeds. Oh, yes, they are. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Spirit is working on this person. Mm-hmm. Because they was, they was sneaky. They was selfish, you know, in the past towards you. Five of Pentacles, they left you out in the cold, made you feel unworthy, ghosted you. Yeah, but yeah. It's something about they, they, um, whatever addictions that they had, whatever addiction, whatever toxicity, whatever it was, this is somebody who's, you know, leaving that out in the cold. Five of Pentacles to the devil, that's great. Yeah, in order to have this two of cups with you. Yeah, can't make it up. Ace of Pentacles. Yeah, this person wants to communicate with you. You guys, um, for some of you guys, um, could be in communication. This person could have already tried to reach out, but with the tower to the Ace of Swords, something's going to happen unexpectedly. Something's going to happen quick. Okay, it is. This person with the Queen of Swords, um, Ace of Swords Spirit is saying that's the damn truth. This person sees the truth and clarity now. It's like with the tower to the Ace of Swords, the way it came out, it's like somebody can't... Oh, my phone about to die. It's like somebody cannot avoid the truth anymore, son. The Spirit is putting it right in this person's face. They cannot avoid the truth. There's somebody that has to accept the truth. They see the truth. Yeah, justice to the four ones. It's about to be balanced here. It's about to be balanced. Things about the skills about to be balanced out perfectly. I love you, Sun Seeds. I hope this reading was able to help someone, give someone clarity on the situation. Um, until we get up next time. I love you guys so, so, so very much, Sun Seeds. You deserve everything that's coming.